Hello and welcome to another episode of here on CapTech. Today, we're going to look at famous people from the great state of Southern Illinois. And well, Southern Illinois might be part of Northern Illinois as far as, you know, the laws concerned. Culturally, it's an entirely different ball of wax. And as Andy Reid, the uh, football coach, recently said, not all of Mozart's paintings are perfect. So let's dive into who's famous from Southern Illinois. Now, I'm not a lawyer, but I still like to lead with a disclaimer, talk about who's not covered in this video. We're not going to cover Northern Illinoisans, such as Dietka, who's actually from Pennsylvania, but we'll consider him our own. We're not going to uh, count Sweet Meat, because it's over on the St. Louis side. And we're not even really going to count Ike and Tina Turner, although they lived in East St. They weren't born there. So let's move on to the list. In baseball, you have Red Shodenist, Kirk Reeder, lives in Nashville, uh, Gary Gaetti, Tom Morgo, and Nancy Scranton, plus several more, such as Jackie Joyner Kersey, Ezekiel Elliott, Brian Cox, Darius Miles, and of course, Whitey Herzog from the great town of New Athens. Or how about reality TV star Darva Conger from Carbondale, also in the entertainment industry, E.C. Seeger, better known as Popeye, John Malkovich, Lori Metcalf from Roseanne, and Krista Flanagan from Mad TV. Want something with a bit more gravitas, you say? How about frickin' Jed Clampett? The man's from Belleville. And get this, tennis star Jimmy Connors was born in East Saint. Belleville was also the original home of Kevin Von Erich. You follow your wrestling. Little Egypt's been home to enough organized crime, that's for sure. Got your Burger Shelton Wars. Um, that occurred a while back in Southern Illinois and are somewhat like a Hatfields vs. McCoys, but a little too further to the uh, west. Later, there was a notorious mobster from the Murfreesboro area named Buddy Buddy. And I texted my uh, old college roommate, Horse, uh, who was from Murfreesboro, to get some comments on uh, Buddy Buddy, and he refused to comment. So uh, apparently the family lives on, or at least uh, so does the legend. All right. Let's look at some famous rockers born in Southern Illinois. Bob Heal from Marissa, Illinois, invented the talk box like you hear in the Frampton songs. Do you feel like I do? You know what I mean? Illinois, Southern Illinois. Then how about Jeff Tweedy, Paul Gilbert, and of course, Gretchen Wilson from Pocahontas redneck woman and come on admit it y'all didn't know that miles davis was born in southern illinois did ya here's a good one the freaking digits are from mattoon who knew wanted to give honorable mention to a few famous bands that are famous around southern illinois such as my buddy scott vernon miller laying down the music uh james schlitt Founder of Head East, uh, the, my good friends, the Hales Boys. How about Jer John Jeremiah, who wrote uh, Lakeshore Drive, Chicago? Uh, so quite a bit of uh, talent, in Southern Illinois. And who can forget our own fragile porcelain mice? Screws loose, baby. I mean, fragile takes me down memory lane. If you think about my old buddy, nice guy, Tom, who's going to help us out with the program today. And I know what you're thinking. Is this going to be one of your hillbilly friends from Nashville? You know, Ashley, Josh? No. Actually, nice guy, Tom, is actually from the Belleville-Edwardsville Metroplex. 
And over the years, he's introduced me to such quasi-famous Southern Illinoisans as Fuzz of Velvet Truck Stop fame and the Clark Brothers. Now, Nice Guy Tom's only superpower you thought was just being incredibly nice under any circumstances, but it's not. He's actually great at Southern Illinois trivia. And um, Tom, why don't you go ahead and tell us what you know about famous people and almost famous people from Southern Illinois. Let me tell you, Cap. I lived with a lot of characters. There were many drifters. One had an entry on Wikipedia. I do not know if he qualifies as a notable person, as you know, Cap. I have had many encounters with famous and infamous people. Here are a few you should know about, Fuzz. He was famous in his own way. He fixed motorcycles and played the drums. We would often have beers at a bar called PKs. There were various punk rockers and hippies who would come and go a lot. Like this guy. Rad boy. Sometimes he would freak out the girls by flopping around on the floor. Saying I'm a fish. I'm a fish. All right, nice guy, Tom. Next question for you. Whatever became of that nice Irish Mexican guy named Frankie that lived with us when we met? Is he still around? This is Frankie G. I also play the drums. I do rudiments 10 hours a day. Let me tell you, that guy who thinks he is famous. He's a witch. He tried to cast a spell on me once when I was sleeping on the couch. That's why I sleep with my drumsticks. I'm not afraid to stab someone in the leg with a drumstick. I have done it before. Ask Nice Guy Tom. Thank you, Nice Guy Tom. And your strange friend Frankie from college. Not to one-up ya, but I wanted to look at a couple other artists that are not as well-known, but born in Southern Illinois, before we left. How about Bill Laswell from Salem? Apparently they're making more than just headlights over there now these days. How about this one, nice guy, Tom? Can you top tall Paul? I mean, I feel like Clanky would have to fly home from Las Vegas to Southern Illinois to top that one. Country singer Tom Lane is from Screaming Bridge in Pilot Knob. He does not have a Wikipedia yet, but you can still find his 1981 album on the internet. Outhouse Days, he wrote gems like Booger Time Blues, Dirty Old Man, and Somebody Shit. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode, Nice Guy Tom. It was greatly appreciated, and thanks to our viewers for watching Cap Tech. I want to encourage you to please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to make Cap Tech your hometown video studio of choice. We'll make your custom-made videos for $2.99 for the first three minutes. Please reach out today. We can be reached at captechstudios at gmail.com or at CapTech on Facebook. CapTech was also recently nominated for a 2019 Video Business Award. Please join us in celebrating. After all, at CapTech, we make your video your way. Hey, you guys at this drive-thru mind filling this trophy up with some beer? Thanks for watching. I mean, I seriously doubt we're gonna win the award, but at least we were able to self-nominate for it. Cheers.